Right there is my beautiful wife, Tammy. Hi, guys. Hey, no, come here. Come here. K-Bar. Here with my buddy K-Bar. Come here, Lobo. My uh, German Shepherd Lobo. We're down at the Mississippi River Valley. This is clip two from our hike. K-Bar is a 10-month-old. Uh, F2 Lycan Shepherd, almost 11 months old. Lobo here is a uh, long-coated German Shepherd. He's uh, six. We're trying out my new GoPro uh, Hero 8 camera today. This is uh, the second clip from this hike. If you haven't seen the first clip yet, uh, it'll be up on the channel by now. Go down and check it out. I'm, I'm sure it was great. How could it not be? Yeah, they had a very generous subscriber uh, donate this camera to the channel. Thank you, Mr. G. He's uh, the one who donated the GoPro uh, Hero 7 to it about a year and a half ago. I think it was yeah, that. Probably. And uh, that camera really helped me uh, improve uh, my channel. And uh, I'm sure this one will even take it a step further. Uh, I'm much appreciated. Thank you again. Shooting uh, at uh, 2.7 in uh, 60 frames a second, this video, and we're comparing it to the prior video I shot at 4K uh, 30 frames a second, and uh, I'll see which works better for these hikes. Going up here. Good boys. Yeah, nice little fire spot here. Yeah, should have brought, should have brought my fire starter stuff. Be nice to have a little fire here. K okay, bar. Come on. This way. Boys. <laughs> you get, get stuck. <laughs> hey! Okay, Mark. Come on. Up. Tell them to halt here because we're turning. Boys. I'll give them little cues like that when we're coming up to forks in the road or you'll hear me click or make various noises uh, when I want to give them a command just to give them attention, their attention and then when they look at me and make eye contact then I'll give them a either a gesture command or a physical command or a verbal command depending on the situation. They've been taught also that if they're by me, uh, if I uh, tap a certain side of them and point to run that direction also. That's what I mean by a physical command.
put my hand to it. This uh, little cove here is about uh, 8 to 10 feet deep, depending on the time of the year. Gabar's going to find out real quick if he walks out a little farther. I love this area, though. It's, uh, it's got such a cool little uh, atmosphere to it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Wait for him to go under. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, again, it's about 10 feet deep in the middle. Yeah. Goes through uh, that little culvert there to the other side. Uh, it's a uh, runoff from a natural spring. He knows he can. Well, he he must be able to see the bottom because he he there was a drop off right there. He just avoided. Some stinging nettle that they're snapping up. Isn't that right, buddy? Looking for stuff for your uh, rack tumbler? Yeah, I got two. And that stinging nettle that he's eating. I'm curious if I'll be able to tell much of a difference between the 4K and the 2.7. Well, let's see what they've done with the Mississippi Witch House. Looks like more work's been done. It looks even grander. We're here at the uh, location of the Mississippi Witch House and uh, the new one's looking pretty good, Tim. Awesome. Yeah. The Mississippi Witch. Jeez. Yeah, this is a uh, former witch house was destroyed and the witch has come back and made a new one. I'll go up there, I'll get a shot of you in there, Tim. I like dogs. this one. It's yeah. It's a little roomier. Yeah. Good thumbnail. Hey, Bar, you want to come up here? Come here. Hi. Sit. Sit. Oh, that was a cute one. <laughs> Hi. Handsome dog. Tammy found a giant piece of pyrite rock in one of our hikes. We have in our living room right now. It's pretty cool. It's like a short-haired St. Bernard over there that came to give it a kiss. Aww. He's the sweetest My dog to other dogs. No, you're fine. <laughs> hey, buddy.
Dobra. Dobra. Yeah, I do too. My favorite, one of my favorites. I could just sit here forever. <laughs> Timmy just whacked your head on that. Dope! <laughs> Big fly. <laughs> Up there, yeah. never understand why people do this. I don't either. They pick up their dog feces and put it in the bag, but then they just leave the bag there. You're better off just leaving the feces there to fertilize, to fertilize than to leave it in a plastic bag. My hope is that they're walking back to pick it up. <laughs> Maybe that's what they're making you believe yeah. that they were. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look, this wasn't here when we just walked through here a minute ago. What? The hammock. Oh, yeah. Well, you guys got the right idea. <laughs> Come on. Now, if Kurgan was here, he would be wallowing in all that mud right now. Kirkin's not here right now. He would be just rolling in all of this. He right would now. be. I don't know. It might be a good viral video though. Right. <laughs> Looking for a driveway across here. Up on top, even over. Oh well, yeah, but then you got it down there. And you gotta walk through all that fallen stuff over there. It's a lot easier if we can just Yeah, but I don't see that happening. That looks Let's like really muddy mud. Let's see. Through the shoot will you go and test it? <laughs> and let me know how that works out. 
They will. Ah, whoop. I'm usually pretty good at this. Tell me that wasn't slick. Your legs are like way longer than my legs. <laughs> All right, so there, and actually probably the better way is to go here where you see the water, don't, don't step there. And then right here, just step out on the logs, the log there. Yep, yep, yep. keep going forward. And then go over here. Step on that one? Yes. Ooh, keep your heels up, and then here. Where? Right, right where, here, right here. Hey, bar, no, come on. Ah, ah, farther forward, farther forward. Yeah, okay, come forward, just keep going. Nice. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Oh. Ooh, we got <laughs> the last minute. We got to There'll be a spot up here. Trust me, that was so much easier than coming along there. Plus, there's a lot of mosquitoes over there. Easily. Now that we're getting later in the year. I don't have any mosquito stuff on today. It yeah. hasn't been bad though. No. I've been noticing though, I've been picking up random bites here and there. Yeah, I have that one on my finger. Oh, it's really crazy. <laughs> Much easier walking here. <clears throat> now, hopefully, hopefully it's good over here. Hmm? This looks like it's still pretty wet, so we might have to head back up over there. And then we can backtrack back to the river so the dogs can clean off and you can clean off your shoe. I saw that. Better them than us. Doing all right? Again, they build them tough in Minnesota. Tammy's built Ford tough. <laughs> ah, 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 get get off of there. It's a uh, dead raccoon skull or something he's rolling on. Look at nice. that. Yeah. That's a cool little skull. I was on site, I could take it for Christopher. Yeah? If I had something to... Is that... Just step on that part and yank it off. There you go. Oh, no more rolling on dead stuff for you, K-Bar. There you go. I don't want to grab the lower jaw or not. Really? Our kid, uh... Make stuff out of taxidermy. Actually, you know what I have, Tammy? You have a baggie? I have okay. a, I think so. Let's see. Nice. I might have used the last one just a second here. No, I don't. I used the last one. All right, sorry. That's a cool skull. Yeah. I think it's a raccoon or something. Could even be a fox. I don't know. I'd have to look at it closer. Oh, that's for you, Christopher. <laughs> Fill the water and rinse off the ducks. You have to put a picture of that on your Instagram and put hashtag vulture culture. <laughs> right. That's a hashtag that people use for that stuff. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> Come on.
take a picture right at the Jeep and set it. I think there's more boats on the lake or on the river. Head through here. You can rinse that off in the water yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> I live there uh, rent free. <laughs> Jamie said, get out of my head when I said that if you didn't hear. Let's come down here uh, in a few hours with uh, Kurgan Magi and Puko. Ulu's in heat right now, so she can't go on any hikes for a few weeks. like our old pit bull axle. They used to have a red-nosed pit that looked a lot like that. Much more muscular though. He's been neutered though, you can tell. They can tell a neutered dog just by looking at it as a animal ward and it, uh, they lose their uh, muscle tone and get a thicker waist. Hi. Buddy. That one's not neutered. You can see the difference between the two. Pitbull not neutered. Pitbull neutered. How you doing? Nice dog. Hey, buddy. Oops, you're gonna knock me down. <laughs> hey, Lobo, let's go in the water for a second, clean up all that mud. There we go. That'll clean all that mud off. Hi. Hey. Good today, huh? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Washed off? Yeah. Sort of. Pretty much. Okay, Bar. Come on. I don't know if you noticed back there with that uh, unneutered pit bull how he was trying to be dominant with Lobo and how Lobo diffused that. And uh, again, that's part of the benefits of those pack feedings I do. It allows my dogs in those situations to deal with stuff like that without getting highly stressed. A couple of collies up here. Hi. Handsome dogs. Gay bar, Lobo. Come on. You can see they get to be uh, around all different kinds of dogs with different temperaments. It's a great place for them to interact. And because it's a large uh, open area like this and not fenced in, 
I think the dogs are uh, less prone to be defensive because they they do always have that flight option which I think sometimes in a smaller contained dog park can make you know some dogs that are fearful more tense because they don't have that they can't get away from a dog that's dominant and festering them One. but what do I know I'm just some guy on YouTube <laughs> take everything I say with a grain of salt right Tim mm -hmm. too many people portray themselves as experts on uh, and authority figures on uh, topics they shouldn't online. I'm not one of those. Well, I do have lots of experience with dogs. I've been working with them over 30 years. I was an animal warden for two decades. Uh, I've uh, created a couple of different dog breeds, uh, trained dogs, uh, and spent most of my uh, free time uh, in pastimes that involved them. I still don't uh, pass myself off as uh, some type of guru you're never too old to learn there are tons of different uh, approaches and ways to train dogs I just show mine on here and for my pair personality style uh, the method of training uh, that I do works well there are other people that uh, it might be not suited for Come on, Kibar. I know how to keep track of my dogs on a hike, but uh, evidently I don't know how to keep track of my wife. <laughs> oh, there you are. I'm like, where the hell did she go? Oh, oh, that's all right. I just because you were you were decked out, I was like, I know how to keep track. I know how to keep track of my dogs on the hike, but I guess I can't keep track of my wife. Oh, but move. Came right now. There's okay. a whole, yeah. And then look at there's little ones growing. Yeah. Look like little eggs. Look like uh, some little elf. Oh, stars. look at there's two of them back there too. Super cool. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Thought I was gonna be on one of those uh, missing 411 <laughs> right. things, you know, where you're in a state park and all of a sudden <laughs> somebody disappears and they never find them again. Well, it took you how many two point what minutes to figure it out? I was gone, so poof. <laughs> I'd be locked on. <laughs> what, what are you trying to say? <laughs> well, I mean, there, there always is the life insurance policy. <laughs> right? Cash that check. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be lost without you, sweetie. <laughs> So would Floydsters, what would he do without you? Huh? Yeah, little <laughs> Keep an eye on me now. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye on her. <laughs> Why didn't I interrupt you? You were talking. Well, that's alright. I don't say anything important on these hikes. Oh, here she do. Let's see if we can get a shot of him coming over. Hey, come here. Come here. Boys. Why? Come on, Lobo. Uh, Lobo did the Lobo. Lobo did the Lobo? Yep. All right, go on. stinging nettle we're walking through. Fortunately I'm pretty resistant so I can walk through that with shorts on and it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't really bother Tammy either. But uh, there's some people that'll get a pretty bad rash that can last for a few hours or even a day from that. Yeah. Somebody said they saw there's a K-Bar and Lobo. My uh, battery ran out on my camera, so I just stopped and put a new one in. And some Bull Terrier. 
Kurgan, Lobo. Yep. They hit the deck. As I was saying, my battery ran out, so I had to change batteries. Up. 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 Climbing up out of the valley right now. Forgive the huffing and puffing. It's steeper than it looks on uh, video. <laughs> well, that's a good end to the hike. Get the blood going. and share hit that notification bell down below and uh, you'll get email notifications when our new videos come out bye from mr. K bar mr. Lobo thank you and of course the beautiful hi guys skull toting team <laughs> have a great day see ya